Okay, so the difference between index rank and size is as follows. Size essentially returns the number of rows in the partition. Uh, it's useful if you want to do dynamic calculations because it will always resize based on how many, like I said, how many rows you have. Um, that's good because if you get like a static number of how many fields are in, in your data set while you're filtering, you're going to get incorrect calculations. Uh, rank is pretty straightforward. Um, it ranks uh, the data in your rows based on a predetermined measure that you have set up. In our case, I have set up rank to measure uh, the number of sales, if you will. So if you look at here, the way it's ranked now, uh, it's out of order. But if we were to filter on sales, you'll see that the rank corresponds to number of sales. Uh, and then finally, index uh, is simply, it just returns the index of the current row in the partition uh, without uh, without any regard to the value. So if you look here in index, the first one is phones. But if you were to filter again, it relabels as labels as number one. And then if you filter out to something random, number one is now accessories. So that's the key difference between index, rank, and size. Size measures how many entries you have in your active view. Rank tells you the order they're in based on something that you choose. Uh, in this case, it's sales for us. And then index is simply a, a measure of the location. Now, um, one is not necessarily better than the other. They all have their uses. But two examples of how you can use these functions are the first one is you can do selective uh, highlighting using rank and size in conjunction with each other. And so the way you do that is you set you use size to sort of set the boundaries of what you're trying to highlight. And then you use ranking as sort of a positioning device, if you will, in the calculations to determine where do you want to draw that line. And so, for example, if you want to write some calculation, for example, that highlights uh, half of the values, it, if you want to write a calculation that splits this your data exactly by half and then highlights the top and the bottom half, the way you can do that is, um, is pretty simple, and I'll show you right now. So um, the way you do it is you can create a calculated field Okay, and we'll call it highlight. And essentially, all, you, all we're going to do is say, hey, look, if if rank is greater than, uh, it doesn't matter, actually, greater than or equal to um, uh, to the size, all right, because that's, that's sort of our boundaries. Um, but more importantly, um, because we want to say do half, you can change this number. We're going to do, do divide by 2. Okay, so if we do something like that, divide by two, oops. Um, and also one other thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make this an integer uh, well, because when you divide by two, you're gonna get a float depending on your, your, your table size. And this right now is 17. So if you do 17 divided by two, you're gonna get a float. So why don't we change to an in integer? Just be aware that the integer function uh, rounds down, I believe. So Frank, um, so we said something like rank is less than uh, the integer of size divided by two. Uh, and we, we dictate, okay, well then false, else true, and then what we've created here is a set of true false statements that will identify uh, the boundary here of what's, what's positive and what's not. And so the way that looks is we can set it here. So if you see here, basically we're telling it, um, we're basically using ranking as a measure of like finding the midpoint mark. And the only reason I did it by divide by two is because I, I arbitrarily said I want to split the thing by two. You can change it however you want, however you want to partition it. Um, and then when you do that, you just need to figure out the math in terms of like how do you want to cut that line. So once you've done something like that, uh, you can just, the rest is just you highlight it with whatever color. So if you see here, this is now perfect 50 50 partition. Uh, regardless of whatever subcategory you give or take, it will always actively, <clears throat> actively readjust and, and effectively become a dynamic, uh, dynamic highlighter. So here, so right now you see here it's perfect, right between around 18 is where it's going to split. If we take out some uh, size correctly, guesses the new amount 14, so middle point is about seven. So there you go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then seven above, uh, and then likewise. So now you, what you've created using rank and size functions is a dynamic highlighter. Okay, so that's something you can do. Um, what is something else you can do? Well, with index, you can do top end indexing. And so what I mean by this is, um, you know, there's a lot you can actually do with these things, but 
one example is you can just um, let okay let's break it down even more so let's say we have categories and subcategories if you're interested in seeing let's just say the top two um, top two categories for top two subcategories for every category you can use index to do that you can also use simple filtering the way you do it with index is first you tell index like if you look at it here index is doing its most basic function it just tells you uh, the, the position of every single line item and so um, before you can do this what you have to do is um, well it's really about the visuals so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say hey take into account the subcategories and redo your account so that when we filter it we can take the top two you can actually do the filter without changing the numbers but um, I'll just do it now the way you do it is you go to edit table calculations do here and basically you're just telling them explicitly like look these are your options of, of calculating positioning I'm gonna take specifically take a look at category and then subcategory and then not only that Every time there's a new category, why don't you reset it? And then once you've done this, you'll see that it used to be one through 17 on index, but now it's ident correctly identified that, okay, every category I'm gonna restart. So you have one, two, three, four, one to nine, and then restarts. And then when you have this, you can do something like, okay, well, let's just filter on every two categories. And then voila, that's what you have. First two of every category, the top, okay. And so that's just something you could do. Um, but one of the drawbacks of indexing is it is indiscriminate and so uh, what I mean by that is let's because this will really highlight it let's take it back to table okay so if you see index it's highlighting 1 through 17 it doesn't matter like if I change this again now it's furnishing okay and if I change it again now it's bookcase it doesn't matter what the values are indexing all it does is it just tells you what the position is so just be careful when you're when you're fooling around with index.